Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to some more Marvel's Midnight Suns. In the last one, we did a side mission, and then it brought us into more of Agatha's stuff, where she was asking us to complete a project for her. So that's pretty much where we're at. We now gotta follow Charlie over to Agatha's altar, and then we'll get started from there. He runs kind of weird, huh? He looks pretty goofy, because he's kind of just, like, sliding. Uh, how do I open things? Like this? Noble Archtour guides my hand. Wait, hold up. What? Arcane Knowledge. Plus 25% bonus resources from pickups. Okay. Arcane levels. The hunter has increased their arcane level. Successfully using power, words of power, exploring the abbey grounds, and even petting Charlie will grant arcane knowledge, which can increase the hunter's arcane level. At higher arcane levels, the hunter will gain increasingly powerful rewards from the abbey grounds and arcane chests. Okay. Interesting. So are these arcane chests? Yes. So do you want to get higher arcane level before you open? I mean, granted, we don't even know how to get the keys yet. So that's something. Glowing vessel. A vessel created by witches to honor the innocent. Okay. Like most things on the grounds here, there's more to this place than meets the eye. Do you remember the words I taught you as a child? Are you going to make me say it? Humor an old, dead woman. Oh. Hocus pocus. Oh, you haven't lost your touch, dear. The words may be simple, but these plinths won't appear for just anyone. Each represents one of the basic elements, their power activated only by the elemental rods they would normally be holding. And where are the elemental rods now? Scattered to the wind, unfortunately. A side effect of Wanda's experiments here. Let me guess. That's right. I want you to find the missing rods and return them here. I think we have at least two of them already. Hopefully, as I decipher Wanda's journal, her notes will aid in the search. But you have not actually told me what the greater purpose is here. What are we doing this for? All in good time, dear. After what happened with Wanda, I'd rather you take things slowly. In fact, I don't want you overthinking this little project. There's no rush and you don't have to help if you don't feel like it. But there is one more thing before I head back to the library. An arcane key. Just a little something. A token for your efforts so far. The key can be used to open that chest nearby. Like so many other oddities around here, those chests tend to appear before those who deserve them most. Make yourself that person. That seems intentionally vague. It's more fun that way, isn't it? I'll be in the library working on the translations if you need me, dear. Good luck. Okay, so we're supposed to open that with the key. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if we should open chests right away. Obviously this one, it seems like it's going to force us. Uh, is that fire? Perhaps I should try this somewhere else. Okay, that was not the fire one. I couldn't really see. <laughs> oh. I thought I was matching them. Okay, so this one's probably the water one. The old magic still holds. Uh, that one's... we don't have that yet. 
about this one? Yeah, it looks like the fire one. What was Wanda up to here? Okay, so we're looking for two more at some point. I wonder if there's one in here, maybe. Let's go open the chest first, and then we'll figure it out. I don't know if I should do that all right now. Arcane key. We have three? All right. Look for arcane chests on the Abergrounds and unlock them with arcane keys. Arcane chests rest, reset periodically, so return to previously opened arc, er, chests. See if you can open them again. The higher your arcane level, the more rewards each arcane chest will have. Okay, so don't wait on them because you can open them again later. Gotcha. Also, that seemed to give gloss, which is the stuff you buy costumes with, and like a costume color or something. Maybe it's just cosmetic. Abbey Grounds. Exploring the Abbey Grounds from this point on is optional. It can be done at any time without regard to the main story. When you are ready, return to your quarters and go to sleep each night to start the next day. Okay. So, do we have any indication as to where... Um, what am I trying to say? Where the, the stabs might be. I mean, maybe she would tell us if we... Okay, so we can fast travel back there. Fast travel here. We can fast travel to any of these spots and then the house, it seems like. So we should go... We should probably open that. Uh, the epic one? So we found one staff like here, right? In the water right there. I don't remember where we found the other one. Oh, well, let's run around back here briefly. See if we find anything. I've said I'm sorry so many times today, I might as well say it here too. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened out there. Agatha and I train at her altar all the time, but something was different. Somehow this time I lost control. Agatha could have been hurt, and it would have been my fault. Damn, I need to figure this out. Caretaker isn't looking at me the same. Agatha makes it look so easy, and I just make everything harder. We'll find a way to draw the elemental energy back to the altar, and we'll try again. We always do. P.S. Somehow I broke the cauldron too. I wasn't even in the library today. Oh, that's Wanda's journal. My favorite days are those with Agatha. She even talks more than Sarah sometimes, but it doesn't feel like a draw drolling lecture. She's always smiling and her face lights up when she tells me about all the plants, trees, and mushrooms that we come across. I never thought I would find myself excited to share the healing properties of moon flowers or dryad saddles. Agatha tells me that one day knowing these things will come in handy, but for now, it's just fun to learn them. So this is the Hunter's Journal. Okay. How far back? A chicken mushroom. Alright. We can't, like, jump off cliffs, I guess. Did I walk the path? Seems odd that we can't interact with anything here. Witch hazels. Okay, what's over here? It's kind of weird that there's such like an expansive, like a little world here to explore. Is this moonlight on Mount Lafayette, New Hampshire? You have collected a masterwork. In addition to the paintings already hanging on the abbey walls, masterworks can be found scattered around the abbey grounds. Masterworks can be hung in, an em in any empty frame. Okay. <clears throat> Heck is this? Oh, the death card. 
Death stands before the Black Vortex, surrounded by the prized Infinity Stones, tempting us with possibility. This card represents transformation and entering a new phase of one's life. We have four of the tarot cards already. I wonder what the point of those is, though. They just kind of, like, seem to tell a story right now. I would hope there's actually a purpose to getting them. Like, it seems optional, but they should give me a reward or something for collecting them. Okay. It seems like we're gonna need a word of power or whatever to interact with that. Maybe we can leap across it. Another tarot card, the Wheel of Fortune. Domino knows the way in which the wheel will turn and shows the answer in the playing card she displays. This card represents luck and good fortune along with the opportunity or with opportunity in the future. So we're now on the other side of this altar thing. How about this way? Can we go this way? Yeah. She believes in our purpose. Who? Okay, where are we going? We're now going this way. So this is where we couldn't cross. Did we go in this little dead end? I think we probably did. Well, let's check out what's over here real quick. This is kind of a small area, it seems like. What's this? Another sealed vessel. The remains within are thoroughly protected. Sealed apothecary vessel. But we need six of those, apparently. Ooh, with a hermit. Namor wields his trident with power, but remains tranquil in his strength below water. This card represents solitude and finding the answers sought from within one's own self. What's this? Oh, the air rod. An elemental rod. I should take this back to the altar. Stone is so light it almost floats. Fluffy white gray whorls conceal a core of rolling thunderclouds which emit small bursts of light from time to time. Okay, so we're still missing one more rod, though. It might be one of those things where we... I mean, we haven't explored very well, obviously, but I'm just saying. There are cracks in this wall. I'm gonna guess that open doesn't work on it, then? Yeah, we're the gonna need a disagrees. different word, I think, to break through that. Open seems to only open things that are actually openable, whereas cracked this wall needs to like be broken. A fairy ring. It's a fairy ring. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, I'm all turned around now, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's why I'm confused, because there's a broken wall over there and a broken wall over there. So this one we could not do anything with. Uh. The goddess must be busy. Okay, so can't do anything there, and that. Yeah, it seems like we just can't go further in this direction right now. Go put the arrow rod down. And then... Uh, which one is it? Yeah, it seems like that. Only one more to go. Oh, we got an arcane key. We're, we didn't get three arcane keys from here. We got arcane keys for placing the rods. Oh, I knew I saw something through that little crack. Justice. She Hulk proudly holds the scales of justice in one hand and her briefcase in the other, ready to face the courtroom. This card represents justice and fairness, righting the wrongs of the world. Alright, well. Over here. This is gonna go. 
Wait, this just goes back down into here. Yeah. So, there's some this new location over there. The bridge over there. How did I miss this path? I could have just walked that way off the stairs. Like a fishing dock? The babbling brook. Can we fish here? Okay, guess not. This is witch sign. Witch sign. A glyph scrawled in bone chalk. It's meaning known only to the witch who wrote it. Okay. This seems like there should be more to this. Alright, well, I guess we gotta come back here. Although, I was thinking, because you can take people to every new location, right? I wonder if taking, like, who do we know that's a witch? I think, is Nico a witch? I don't know if she's actually a witch or not, actually. I think a witch seems to be a very specific thing, not just referring to someone who knows magic. Also, this is a stark contrast to everything else going on here. Where are we? Cave, alright. What the? Oh, it's the cat. That actually scared me. <laughs> oh, this must be Ghost Rider's car? Is there really nothing to do here right now? A portal potty behind that. Okay, this place seems to be empty. Gotcha. So, what are we supposed to be doing right now, anyways? I'm not exactly sure what the mission is. There's no objective, so I guess it's just go to sleep. Another cracked wall probably won't work with open. The gods are fickle. Yeah, I should probably stop trying open on cracked walls. It doesn't seem to be the right answer. Oyster mushrooms. Wait, we can go down this? Oh boy. This seems like we can open it. Hmm. Oshter smiles upon me. It's kind of creepy. This fire seems incredibly unnatural. I don't, I, we can't interact with that, but we found another key. Alright, let's, let's take a look at the map. Where are we right now? We're right here. We could stop by the blood gate. Um, so we should run up this way, see if we can actually go that way. Ebony. Wait, hold up. It says that Ebony's there, but we didn't actually see Ebony. Where did we come from? Okay, from this way? Where is Ebony, then? Ebony meowed at us. It sounded like it was coming from the right side. I don't know. Didn't see any kitty cats anywhere. Oh, right here. Hey, cat. Oh. Who's a good kid? Legendary combat bonus gained two overpowered at the start of the next mission. 
You are a cute little shapeshifter, are you not? Shapeshifter? I don't really know what Ebony is. But like, I don't know what a shapeshifter entitles. Like, is it a person? Is it not a person? Okay, so if we continue this path, there's a path that goes this way. Evening in the woods, another picture. Still looking for the last staff, huh? I kind of wanted to find at least the last staff before we... There's a tarot card over there. We just walk through water for free? Yeah. The sun. Johnny Storm leaps into the sky and blazes bright, showcasing his exceptional power with extreme control. This card represents an abundance of energy as well as optimism and joy. Okay, so where does this go? It seems to be maybe a dead end right now. Although I can't see anything. Okay, this appears to be a dead end. Maybe we get like a climb rune or a climb power word at some point. Not right now though. Okay, so blood gate. I want to stop by the blood gate and see if there's another trial we can do. All right. Oster's cavern. Okay, we can't even interact with any of this stuff. Oh, I missed this. Uh, Wanda's journal. Agatha was just as surprised as I was when it happened. Those shrines on the grounds, the blood magic, you're not supposed to just walk right in there. But once again, well, here you are. She told me not to worry, but how can I not worry trying to gain the blessing of Oster without facing her trial? I didn't even know what I was looking for, really. Just some way I could help. Whatever, at least now I can get into Magic's room when she locks me out. Wasn't there a chest here? Yeah, let's open this chest now. We got four keys. I want to open the, the rare chest and the legendary chest. Regal fireplace to put into our quarters. All right. Oh, we were just like default sprinting the whole time. I was wondering why we were running so fast. So, oh, we're over here. Okay, that makes sense. So this part where we thought it was a dead end just comes out of Oster's place. I guess the only thing we can do now is go down this path, go back to where we spawned. Maybe we can go this direction? <clears throat> just looking for that last rod piece. The rods seem in fairly obvious places, so... I'm not that concerned about missing it. By running around just because it should be on like an altar or in a place that's very visible. It's an Agatha statue right here. Can't inspect it. Okay, we got temperance. Cloak pours from his goblet into daggers, allowing the power between them to retain balance. This card represents harmony and creating something new through a combination. Okay, so where are we now? We're here at these crossroads. So if we go that way, that'll take us back to the Hunter's Folly. And if we go this way, we should be able to open this. Blessings of the goddess. Dreamer's descent. Can we see? Hold up. How do I? I honestly don't remember what button. Oh, that button. Gain two overpower. I don't even know what overpower is. Um, 
But what I'm curious about... Not this. That was not what I was curious about, but it had a glowing new thing. Oh, yeah, it doesn't show you what they are. Collect all the tarot cards. Okay, but what was it? Oh, wait, it had a color. That's what was new. I don't like it. But, but okay, so what I want to look at is doesn't appear to be here. I want to see if we could tell how much arcane knowledge we have, like how much progress to the next level. I'm not seeing it anywhere though. Okay, here's another cracked wall. Come back here, I guess. There's gotta be something we can do here right now, though, otherwise why would they let us here? Hunter's Journal, Agatha makes me laugh, my aunt is so serious, always sometime, sometimes I catch her smiling like a little girl, but only when she's with Agatha. With me, she's just serious. The way she looks at me sometimes, I don't think she knows that I see it, but I do. She's afraid. She's afraid that I'm going to be just like my mother. What did Overlook? Ooh, a grave. A poo. Pet that cemetery. Is something. Cleo. Cherished companion who will cheerfully meow in our years forever. This rubble looks loose. Yeah. I don't think we can do anything with it right now. Where is this? Is this like in a road? Yeah, it seems like there's a road that should continue that way, so. Unknown grave. I was always drawn to this place as a child, but somehow I had almost forgotten about it. Handmade father doll. A doll for my father. I spent extra time on this one. Huh. Is this where we came from? No, we're going a completely different direction. Purple light back there. More opening, huh? The goddess of order approves. I feel like we just passed a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe we should come back in a second. What was over here? Okay, that went to the grave as well. see what we could see on the other side. Yeah, I don't like that. It's another one of these glyphs. I don't know what they mean. Alright, I think we've we're got to be getting close to having explored just about everything that we can. Got that one doorway to go through. Intrigued. 
intriguing. Symbolic totems crudely constructed to honor the Elder God. Okay. Ah, I see. Wanda's journal. They stopped tending to this grave some time ago. I guess I'm the only one that comes out here these days, so I get it. It's so sad, though it was hundreds of years ago, but I can feel so much sorrow in this place. But a loss like that, a husband and father, that doesn't just go away. Maybe that's why everything happened the way it did. What is this? Ooh, another arcane chest, a rare one. One blueprint, I don't know what that means. Can we like craft cards or something with that? Caretaker never did like the idea of being idolized in dull form. Caretaker hardly spoke of him, but I like to imagine my father was a great hero whose spirit protected these woods. Man, this place is really easy to get turned around in. Oh, I think we did everything down there. Stone Terrace. Ah, oh, I thought this was gonna be where the last the standing stones there is powerful magic at work here there's a door over there i thought this was going to be where the last uh, rod was apparently not my old fort caretaker was furious when she found i had built this i wonder what she was really afraid of Stall was for my mother before things changed. Oh, level up. Get one more. I never more got the chance reward. to truly know my mother. Only the monster she became. Oh, a master. Just nothing. Uh, oh, there's some more things. The ink and watercolor illustrations almost jump off the page. Minor heroic essence, rare gift. I don't know what any of that means. Journal page, hunter's journal. Sometimes I wake up still caught up in my dreams. I am running, but seemingly going nowhere. The dream seems to go on and on. It is dark and freezing and I'm trying to hide and make myself as small as possible to not be seen or heard. Sometimes there are strange voices screaming from far away and I am on my feet again, running. I'm never fast enough. It feels like these dreams are distant memories or maybe something yet to come. But when I shake away the sleep, I'm safe and warm. Agatha and Sarah are here. Everything feels okay. Perhaps a witch from the Salem Coven made this. Another witch symbol? Hiram Shah. The people of Salem line up outside drooling at the chance to be part of this congregation. I cannot be more pleased with how many seek out the truth within these walls with the guidance of Jathan. And the power within this page, I will set them free. I am the one that has been chosen, and I praise Jathan for granting me this blessing and this power. Yet where there is light, there are those who oppose it. A coven of witches stalks around us, deceiving my flock and sowing the seeds of distrust. They will be stopped. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, where are we now? Oh, we are far away. Okay, so we need bridge jumping technology for that. That's spooky. Pay respects, it's a completely different button, huh? I don't even know where this is. Okay, so we gotta pay respects at four the different great seer, things. Known as Endra Moore, is buried here. Much like Nico, her powers came dangerously close to crossing the line. But she was among the most loyal of the Midnight Suns. Okay, uh, yeah, I have no indication as to where that is on the map. Oh, we got one of them. Hunter's Journal, we only have so much time before Lilith's shadow falls upon this ground. Until then, I must continue to train. I must continue to become who I am destined to be. I am the hunter. I will hunt. I guess they were right. Her name always was Hunter. The Earthy Glade. Yeah, my only other thought with the last staff is that maybe Agatha will give us a hint as to where it is. I don't really want to open this because I want to... I guess we could open one of them. I want to save one key for the epic chest. Select the hero. They gain block for each enemy targeting them. Free. Is this a card? I don't know what that is. Got some more recipes. Don't know what you do with those. Ooh, a tarot card. A high Priestess. Jean Grey stands powerfully and summons flames from her palms, holding her stance and waiting for the next move. This card represents instinct and wisdom with a hint of mystery. But wow, we have spent a lot more time just exploring than I expected. But was there anything else up here? It seems like that door might be the last thing to explore. Then we'll head back. Is there anything around this bridge or anything like that? We never went right here. Doesn't seem like it. What about over here? No. Inspect. I need to find the next moon seal. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. All right, well. Did some good exploring though. We found lots of places. And it seems like We'll teleport back, we'll talk to Agatha, we'll open this chest. Where is this chest anyways? There's a whole bunch of chests. Uh, it's in the library. Which direction is that? <laughs> this way, I think? No, nope, not this way. Okay, we went the completely wrong direction. Where the heck is the library? Oh, it was this way. I see, I see. Invigoration. I don't know what those do, but 
Okay, Agatha, I can't find the last rod. I see you found one of the elemental rods. If you'd like to keep going, you may keep searching for more. I see you found another of our mystic landmarks. These are the Standing Stones. Your ancestors among the blood used them to converse with the Elder Gods. How does that work? Members of the blood would gather among the stones and enter a sort of meditative trance. They say the gods would hear their thoughts, but the blood never knew for sure who was listening on the other end. Some of the older texts refer to a series of glyphs etched on the stones, but at first glance they seem to have been scoured clean by time itself. Could they still be revealed somehow? You read my mind, Hunter. I suspect the glyphs are still here. They just need the right words of encouragement, if you catch my meaning. Okay, so we probably need a word of power for mm -hmm. that. Um... You said something earlier about the blood. In a world full of mysteries, the blood have managed to remain even more mysterious than most. They were an ancient race, said to be born of the Elder Gods. As I understand it, they were very strict about maintaining their bloodline. That's probably why you don't hear about them very often. And yet, here you are, one of their direct descendants. Are there others? It's quite possible, but even if there are, they might not even know it themselves. Somehow, I take comfort in that. What they do not know cannot hurt them. Indeed. After our last battle, what happened to Lilith? You were in the woods. You and your mother obviously came to blows. But we found no wounds, no evidence of what happened at all. A silent, deathly embrace between mother and child. We had hoped you would both find peace in the next life. But she's not buried here? No. We entrusted her to the Knights of Wondergore, the ancient protectors of your ancestral homeland in Transia. I don't think they ever expected to contend with an organization like Hydra, and I doubt Lilith spared any who survived her reawakening. What would Wanda want with your altar? What can I say? Some people have a curious, adventurous itch that just has to be scratched. I was one of them, and so was Wanda. Caretaker, not so much, but I see it again in you, Hunter. So you encouraged her exploration? Of course. Why wouldn't I? What good is being as powerful as we are if we're just going to spend all our time cooped up within these walls? What's the worst that could happen? You know, uh, death. <laughs> you got me there, dear. What do you know about the moon seals? Presumably forged by the gods themselves. I like to think of a moon seal as both a lock and a key. With the right power, wielded by the right person, the energy of the seal is unleashed, creating a conduit to the Elder Gods. And I am that right person? Just another benefit of being descended from the blood. Lucky you, dear. Where did the words of power come from? While I often call them blessings or gifts of the old gods, the words of power are actually powerful invocations tuned to the unique energies found in descendants of the blood. And caretaker used the words as well? Of course, dear. Sarah used the words of power on the Abbey grounds just as you do today. Many of the areas you encounter that seem receptive to these spells are actually the result of Sarah's frequent undertakings. Okay. Need something, dear? Yeah, I need you to tell me where the last staff is. Um, just occurred to me. How do I even zoom out with the screen? It doesn't seem to actually... 
Oh, because I wasn't showing the grounds. So, hold up. I want to go back here real quick. Did I not try to open the blood gate? With the words of power? I don't remember. But I feel like that should be the first thing that I try. Well, hold up. Must not be her purview. Oh yeah, that's a different symbol. Okay, okay, okay. So we need words to open the blood gates. But it's specific words. Alright, well let's go to sleep so we can start the next day. So we can hopefully actually do a mission today. Now, how the heck do I get to my room? My room is down somewhere. Right there. This one. That's the closet. Alright, let's sleep. Should probably save too. Ooh, I wasn't expecting this. Alright, we'll walk towards the thing. After all these years, it is good to see your face again. Wish I could say the same, mother. Now enough with this deception and reveal your true form. But this is my true form. The way I was when you were just a sweet, helpless little baby. You don't remember that, do you? Well, I do. Bringing you into the world was the happiest time in my life. And taking you out of this world again will be mine. I had thought the words of power would open your eyes. But I should have known my sister and her pet witch would continue to withhold the truth from you. And what truth is that? The truth they are keeping from you. You need only. Wait! Mother! Where did you- Oh. I thought I was gonna get to ask all those things. Uh, am I supposed to be able to do something here? Maybe it was a loading screen? Was that really her? A whole bunch of posts. Uh, mystery eyeball invades Canada. A massive cluster of marine life resembling an eyeball washed up on the shores of British Columbia. The never seen before life forms measuring six feet in diameter were sent to the lab for further testing. They are missing the point, which is where there is a giant eyeball there's a giant thing missing a giant eyeball i don't know about that but that seems a little bit far-fetched okay iliana were you walking the abbey grounds last night yeah weird i saw a strange light out my window we're the only ones here who have our own underglow so i figured it was you maybe carol was out for a moonlight stroll no way captain marvel isn't a soft glow she's a portable sun also, you can't take a moonlight stroll during a new moon. Just witchy things. Alright, now it's getting stupid. So, about astounding Spider-Man, are we going to do something about that? Yeah, he could put his little spider neck... Yeah, he put his little spider neck out on the line for us. Calm down, kids. There's a plan. There's always a plan. Why do we never act on that plan? I'm certain our wall-crawling compatriot is doing just fine. That's great and everything, but we wouldn't be in this mess if it was- or he wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for us. We should at least track him down. If the rest of you won't do it, us kids will. Cool your jets, people. Head to the war room. Central highest priority is finding Spider-Man. Okay, so that's what we're doing next. 
finding spider man stopped by agatha's shrine today i had the strangest feeling like i don't know how to explain it like her hand was touching your shoulder huh thought it was just me i haven't been there since the service you should go it's peaceful if she were still around, I'm sure she'd want you to visit. The shrine is like right next to the house. You're t you haven't been there a single time? How? You'd like would accidentally walk by there. All right, we're not reading this other stuff. Research. Our research is probably done. Oh. Uh, okay, it says we have two objectives, but I can't really look at them. So, where's the forge again? Oh, up there. I keep going the wrong way. This place is confusing. Mostly because the map sucks, I think. Oh, you can make the dog follow you? Good girl, Charlie. Just black screen. Hello. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. We can't get to the pause menu either. That's concerning. I'm not sure what to do, uh, I didn't save. Oh, we're back. Jeez, okay, those, those loading screens are scary. So, that gloss seemed to just, like, respawn here, right? Because I've walked by here a million times, I would have seen that. Let's save real quick, there was also something right in front of me I saw. I hit the save button, I swear. We're having more issues again today, huh? I can't even move the mouse. This is where we live now. I wanted to do a mission, but maybe we'll just have to keep this one at exploring and do the mission next time. Because we still got a few things to do. Um, like I still need to go to the forge to pick our research upgrades and stuff. Apparently we gotta wait five years for this save screen to load. Did it save? Yes. Okay, so like this, I've definitely picked up anything that would have been there already, right? Let's go here, let's check out what's at the forge. Oh, you are gonna love this. Okay, upgrades gamma coil analysis and the forge reveals four abilities and allows two abilities to be selected. I didn't realize you got to pick two. That's even more crazy. Okay. So we need to do one more mission with Blade for that. What else? We need four missions with Ghost Rider. Complete one hero op with Captain Marvel. Don't know what a hero op is. Upgrade Captain Marvel abilities three. Okay, so I think we're looking to use Ghost Rider and Blade. This does what exactly? Spend moves to knock back enemies in combat. Complete challenge missions to earn legendary suits. Oh, this is the start of the challenge mission maybe? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, 
craft powerful single use items. Well, we don't have anything else, so we might as well just research this. Oh, we can. Do we have gamma coils? Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? Okay, we have a gamma coil. Should be quick. Take your pick, Hunter. I can't help but notice that that is not four. Maybe it's only... I don't know. Maybe I messed up. Maybe I was supposed to upgrade the forge. Ah, oh, shoot. Hunter abilities can be from one of three branches. Play Another more. magical mystery box. And to think, I used to design sentient future tech. Okay, holy flame. Damage an enemy or restore. Ooh, I like that. Nice versatile ability. Like, we already have these two, but we don't have this, so we should get this. Okay, well, I should have looked at this, I guess, first. Yeah, I was supposed to do this. Dang. Okay, well, now we know. Until next time. So, how do I use that now? Edit deck. I feel like we get rid of one of the heals. Or we could get rid of the whip. Because it's a dark ability, right? Yeah. Oh, you're only allowed four attacks. Okay, so the heal doesn't count as an attack. So I guess just get rid of one of the normal slashes. We got new stuff? Got a head prop. Okay. Uh, here, we got another color. And I also don't like that one very much. Full face prop. That's interesting. Kinda creepy looking, but... Okay. I don't know if I like these very much. So, is there anywhere to figure out where overpowered is? Like, I don't know what overpowered does. I think we just gotta be in combat for it to tell us. Okay, so I guess since we're just doing an exploration episode, we might as well just finish out with anything else we could think of. We might do the, the story in that room real quick, because I don't think it'll throw us into something. We got some people we could talk to, Tony Stark specifically. Let's talk to Tony real quick. Oh. What's this one? Uh, hey, can I ask a favor? The life of a superhero is complicated and sometimes they could use your advice. Other times they might ask you for favors, help heroes with their problems to receive new rewards. What the heck is this? Practice makes perfect. Tony Stark takes a break from his training and gives you a quick assessment as you approach. You're clearly the expert in demon hunting around here. What's your opinion on how we should train? True warrior values technique over brute strength, repetition and study, not fire and fury. The primary transactional currency... Oh, so we get 24 credits if I tell him that. Train like you fight with furious intent, no quarter, no mercy. 
10 Iron Man critical chance. Increases the chance for a drawn card to be critical and deal increased damage and an Iron Man ability. Uh, and I don't even know what injury chance means. I don't think... I mean, I would probably say this one. But it seems to have the lamer reward. Like, this one has higher potential, right? But it's only for Iron Man. So I'm going to say this one. Thanks, Hunter. If it was for, like, one of the heroes that I think we're really going to want to use in the future, I might have done that differently. Okay, hold on. Let me look at the map real quick. Yard. So have we, we've gone to most things, like we found one of the stabs here. I just don't know if it, if the other one is in an area we've been to or not. Oh, this is where we see our arcane level. Okay, okay. Can I've we... got a kid I send on missions sometimes. Daily sparring. And upgrade abilities. Practice makes perfect. Oh, because I don't have both of my slashes equipped. Caretaker said I need to be a team player. So I guess I'm letting you choose for me too. So it costs. It costs attack essence, which we don't have that much of. Do I really want to use that right now? Upgrade the slash ability that I don't even like that much? Probably not. Daily sparring. Choose a hero to instruct in the art of demon hunting. Heroes may only spar with the hunter once every four days. Choose a training partner. So we did um, Ghost Rider last time. We're probably going to bring Blade with us in the next mission, if possible, so I will pick Blade. Because he'll get, like, a buff, right? I'm ready when you are. Just remember, the most important thing, there are no rules. Oh, Blade became level 4? Wait, he gets XP? Why don't I get XP? Now what is this? Vault training. Vaulting deals increased damage in combat. Okay, we need to get our training level up. Which we can do by upgrading abilities, but we should wait a little bit. We don't have that much essence yet. Um, he didn't seem to get a special buff. So that must be just random. Happens sometimes. Ooh. Some credits. Hey Hunter. When you've got a minute, could you meet me in the war room? Okay, so they're telling me I gotta go do that. Um, what was the other thing? How do we... I don't remember the button to get to the super link. Didn't it say that... Carol Danvers said something? Yeah, this. Paintings in my room keep floating around. Anything I can do, I'm trying to read, and all that hovering makes it hard to concentrate. Again, it goes to show... Seraphim, Seraphimian incantations are good for nothing. Perhaps Baralahian would yield more permanent results. Whatever you say, can you make it stop? Can you bear it a while longer? My presence is required in the forge for a particularly sensitive refinement. No sweat, I'll cover them with, <laughs> with sheets or something. Can someone else from the spoopy crew help her out, preferably before Carol angers the possessed paintings? Too late, they're agitated. I'll be in the war room until this gets resolved. I'm curious, when I arrived, the paintings were becalmed and in their proper place. You can thank me uh, you can thank me later. Okay. And then did this ever go anywhere else? No. Okay, well let's go do this story part real quick. And then I'm sure it won't just send us on a mission right away, right? It wouldn't do that, maybe. I don't know. 
We'll save first, just in case. Still essence. There you are, Hunter. Got time to look at something? Well, don't leave me in suspense. How are you enjoying the library? I thought we were past that. We are, but I'm still allowed to be annoyed with you. I expect a bit of pushback from the others, but not from you, Hunter. Why not? When have I ever made things easy for you? You had your moments, few and far between, but that's exactly my point. You know what that place, what she meant to me, and you did it anyway. Um... Well, yeah, we'll go with this one. This seems like a good If answer. I had known it meant this much to you, I would have waited. It was not my intention to defy or hurt you. Hurt, no. Defy, maybe. At the same time, I know I haven't been very open with you about everything that's happened. At least we are talking now. Silence between us would only make things worse. You're right about that. We have bigger things to worry about. Like the mouthy alien tormenting Spider-Man as we speak. He did risk himself for us without hesitation. We owe him for that, at least. For once, I think the entire team is in agreement. It's only a matter of tracking Venom down. I would just follow the trail of destruction. But maybe there is another way. I'm sure we'll come up with something. Don't leave poor Spider-Man waiting too long now. Oh, she's here too. All right. We've got a situation. Let's get filled in on the, the mission. The intel cache we recovered from Hydra's gunship might seem sophisticated to the casual bystander, but they probably weren't expecting to go up against the likes of me. With Central's help, I can decrypt these babies in no time, providing us a valuable and fascinating glimpse into Hydra's twisted little minds. I expected a lot more. Hey, Hunter. Captain Marvel can decrypt Hydra intel caches at her central workstation, revealing ops that individual heroes can undertake to gain rewards. Oh, that's what they were talking about, Captain Marvel hero op. Okay. Central will crack the code. I'm sure Tony won't mind if I install XCOM on Central. It's for tactical research. Is that a joke? Does she mean like the game XCOM made by the same people who made this game or does XCOM mean something else? The not so good doctor. I don't. Are we now starting we've a mission? Now the intel. Let's put what we've learned to good use. Check out the available hero ops listed on Central. Hero ops grant powerful hero specific rewards. Heroes assigned to an op will be unavailable for combat missions until the following day when the op completes. Okay. So it's not like a one person mission. It's like sending people out to go do tasks. So we get an upgraded ability for Captain Marvel, which is good because. Don't, didn't we need to upgrade Captain Marvel abilities or something for something as well? If we had some rookies, I'd say send them out for the experience. But I think we're past that. Okay, so we'll send her out. I think I can handle that. Oh, we're out of screen. These are the current priority. Stay out of trouble. The Abbey is now yours to explore. Check your objectives and the map to see what is available and look around to see if any heroes could use a hand. Missions are waiting on the mirror table when you are ready. Tip, if you would like to review any tutorials, they are always available from the settings menu. Whoa, hey there. where'd you come from? Hunter, my second favorite zombie superhero. Who is your first? Tony, on two hours of sleep. <laughs> so... What do you need? Um, I didn't realize this was going to be a conversation. I have questions for you. Sure, ask away. 
Tell me about yourself, Carol. What in particular? Oh, geez, there's a lot of stuff. Who were you before you became Captain Marvel? Air Force pilot. I used to fly the unfriendly skies before I was attached to the space program. And back then, I was entirely human. You are not entirely human? Not since I uncovered actual, for real aliens. There was an accident with some alien tech that rewrote my DNA, and now I'm half Kree. I have never heard of the Kree. Neither had I. They have a space empire. It's crazy to think they've been around far longer than you've been alive. How did Carol Danvers become Captain Marvel? During my time with the space program, I found myself involved in a conflict between alien species, Kree and Skrulls. I got too close to a device called the Psyche Magnetron, and it completely altered me. A Kree soldier known as Marvell felt responsible for what happened and took me under his wing. He was a hero in his own right, and we fought beside each other for years. He's gone now, but I took the name Captain Marvel as a tribute to what he stood for. Since then, I've made the name my own. Your strength is hard for me to fathom. With all this gamma weirdness keeping Banner in Banner form, I'm Earth's mightiest Avenger. <laughs> Once Thor realized the Hulk was in a class of his own, he was not happy to be in third place. He still challenges me to arm wrestling contests, and loses. He's much less salty since I started calling him Asgard's mightiest Avenger. How powerful would you say you are? Hmm... When someone says we need to call in the big guns, they're talking about me. Just don't say it in front of Bruce. The Hulk is an order of magnitude stronger, no question. But he doesn't have my precision, patience, or reliability. At least, that's how Bruce put it. That much power. And it does not seem to have gone to your head. I do get cocky sometimes, but I don't take any of this for granted, and I always remember where I came from. Arrogance is like punching the afterburner with your wheels down. Tell me about the Avengers. Sure, what about us? Yep, more choices. How long have you been an Avenger? Over a decade. It's still hard to believe. We've been so busy dealing with one crisis or another, it's hard to mark the time. My coffee tally puts me just shy of 20,000, excluding the cups I forgot to track. What are your thoughts on your fellow Avengers? I'm with the team for a reason. I believe in what we do. All of us do. I'm sure you've noticed Tony can be abrasive, but I never doubt his commitment. He and Banner used to fight like cats in a sack. Thankfully, they seem to be past that. And I can't think of anyone better to deal with a mystical enemy than Doctor Strange. He's a little out of sorts right now, what with being pushed out of his home, but he'll adjust. Do you think your team can find common ground with the Midnight Suns? Look, I try not to get involved in team politics. I'll work with anyone who gets the job done. I don't care what team they're from. Do all the Avengers feel the same? No comment. Thank you, Carol. Anytime. And hey, if you find the time, we should hang out. I will consider that. Of course. Okay. Before we finish, is there anyone else who wants to talk urgently or something? Doesn't seem like it. So I think we're going to stop there, and next time we'll just get started with a mission, because we didn't actually get to a mission this time. Um, maybe we'll do a few missions? I don't know. It seems like we explored the entire abbey, at least as far as we can reach right now, until we unlock new stuff, so... Yeah, that's going to do it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed this one more. Story, exploring, learning about the place and stuff. Um, but next time we'll get into the action. Well, it's not really action, it's turn-based, but... You get the point. Fun, fun gameplay. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time.